First time ever! Welcome to the first ever Spotter's Domain. This is the video where I show you the stuff what I got, what I have bought recently, and so forth. Basically, it's like a collection. Only I won't show you the collection just yet. However, I am willing to show you the stuff I bought recently and probably discuss a little bit on what I'm going to do, what I'm going to watch, and what I'm going to read next. There's a lot of things that have been suggested, and sometimes I will buy them, sometimes I won't buy them because, hey, you never know, maybe I end up not liking them. I'm not that much of a collector like that, only the ones that I really, really 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 love not the, exactly the risk taker though I am making some exception as you will see later on but that time being I can't say it's going to be a monthly thing because I don't buy a lot of stuff so you never know what happens if they don't have any new video next month but I am willing to show you two things in this month currently because I have stuff to show especially the whole hype coming around for the next season of anime so let's get to the video before we start the video off I should show you what I have I was going to get it by the time the 500th chapter release but I was too late well more like the shipment came too late but nevertheless I got voila this figurine of Shin yeah that's right the awesome character that I wish it has to well I can't spoil if you haven't read it please read this series it is so amazing that being said I am really happy that I got this it looks really nice I like the armor detail I got the scratch marks I really like it I really really like it and not only that I receive it much later on I got his own buddy say yeah that's what I say really like this character I really like that armor actually that detail is really pretty good I mean like my goodness cape is all flying up sword is right there in his pocket he has that pose you remember the best arc or unless it could be toppled by the latest arc well, let's hope for the best but lastly I got Kyokai I managed to find her luckily in a bookstore I was like holy crap Honestly, I feel like I'm the only guy that knows Kingdom in that store. Because, you know, you get people that likes the idol, usual mainstream anime, manga. I mean, they're not bad, but Kingdom, man. <laughs> oh, well. But hey, the quality is pretty good. There's a different manufacturer from Ban Presto. Yeah, Ban Presto. The other guys are from Figure Arts. But it's still pretty nice to see these qualities. And I really like what I got. I think this is the only Kyokai that you could ever get. Either way, I'm happy to get all three of them. Now I'm thinking about, should I? I was going to show you an unboxing video for that figure, but... Come on! What the hell? Why is it not open, you piece of sh... Yeah. And now for the number one request for manga that they want me to read. It's Noragami. I finally got the volume. Actually, I got it a while ago, but I just wanted to say that. But seriously, Noragami. I finally got the first volume. I'm finally going to start reading very, very soon. And I've always been wanting to read this manga for a long time, let alone the anime. That's the perfect opportunity to finally get into it. I hope it's really good. I'm taking a risk because I never read it before, so this is the first time ever. And I'm doing it in the volume style. But I also got... Volume 2, just in case I get hooked to the series. You never know, I'll be hungry for more. By the way, we got Volume 3 as well. I'm really liking these art style, by the way. Uh, something about them intrigues me. Volume 4, yeah, why not, right? Go one volume after another. And that's where it stops, uh, right? Nope. Volume 5, we got one more volume. Yes, this is the Volume 5, and yeah, I got 5 volumes in total. And then once I get to the up to date, I'll start buying more. Can't wait to read them. The Ancient Magus Bride. Yeah, I'm actually wanted to read this series for a while. In fact, I have started to read this and so far it's pretty good. I haven't reached this volume, but I just want to show you the one I got recently. I have all the volumes. For some reason, the art style really intrigues me. I don't know why. And I hear that it's supposed to be like Harry Potter meets anime, manga, universe. So that intrigues me as well. I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but that's something that I'm looking forward to read. And he even brought me this special booklet. I don't even know what's it about, but I'm actually gracious to see this one. Looks promising. Definitely don't know what's it about since, yeah, I had to catch up sooner or later. I was going to say I'm going to read those two after I finish reading this, but I already finished reading this and I will save my comment for other time. But nevertheless, I have read this series and yeah, it's best to say that I want the movie. Where the hell is the damn movie? 
Seriously, where the hell is the damn movie? Why can't USA get any good stuff? Why the hell the movie is not coming here? I have to wait this long? Even the bookmark is mocking me. But this just blows. This is Full War Shokugeko no Soma, Volume 16. Yeah, I know, you're probably wondering what am I looking at? But seriously, I really like the art style. I'm always a fan of the art. If you ever read the manga, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, take a glance, and I don't mean the fugasm. <laughs> Yeah, but seriously, it's really worth the read. All thanks to Season 2, Bungo Stray Dog, to Volume 1. I believe Volume 2 is coming out very soon, so I have to get that next. I have not yet read this one, and you know, this is the beginning where the series isn't at its best yet. So, I am going to check it out soon. From glancing it, it seems like there are some parts that the anime kind of stretch it out. So, I'm going to find out myself. But honestly, I'm looking forward to reading this series. It should be fun. Once I get to the Season 2 Part, that's where the fun begins. Now we're off to the anime department and look what I begin again. Noragami again with anime this time. Yeah, I have this as well. And I hear some things about the season one, you know, Bones is at it again. But I did hear season two, it's a rebound. <laughs> yes, surprising, isn't it? So I'm going to watch this very soon. And then once I finish watching this, I'm getting myself the Aragato. And that should be pretty fun because you know how season two works for Bones. Alright, do not kill me when I say this. Graves of the Fireflies. I never seen it. Yeah, my friend suggested it. Don't worry, I still remember that suggestion. Don't you think I will forget now? That being said, I didn't see this movie. Please don't kill me. This is around the time when I stopped watching anime, let alone the fact I didn't look thoroughly on anime. But yeah, I'm going to watch this for sure. I'm definitely, definitely going to watch this. And I have the time, I have the settings, all the best capability to make it the most greatest atmosphere for a movie. But I did see this one first because it's Gintama. And yeah, I know this was very strange and I would say rare, but not, not much rare. But it is strange to see the English dub before the crunchy roll get their hands on. But even that... It's still pretty nice to own this. I finally got to see this movie and the sequel one. Yeah, this is a damn, damn worthwhile to watch. The Boy and the Beast. That's right. The movie that I keep hearing mixed things. Some people really love it. Some people thought it was good, but disappointing in the end. Maybe it might be disappointing. I was really looking forward to this movie. So I'm going to find out myself firsthand. Of course, I have to collect this. This is the movie that a lot of people like to say, if you've never seen this movie, you're not an anime fan, however that goes. But either way, I saw this a long time ago. It's a classic, of course, and of course, I'm going to see it again in a high definition quality and see where my memory jogs when it comes to this movie. Probably should get the manga itself as well. I know 2016 was something else, 2017 doesn't look promising, but at least this one is not so bad in my opinion. Berserk the Golden Age Arc movie collection, and it's yes, it's all three movies in one. I did enjoy them, mainly because of the story part, yes they did skip a lot of things, but hey, at least it's the closest we can get besides the first anime adaptation. The girl who leaped through time. Yeah, I remember my friend showed me the preview and it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty nice as well. I remember how it looking very pretty movie. <laughs> That's the best I could describe this. But I'm definitely wanted to watch this and I'm going to see it once I'm done with Graves of the Fireflies. The Garden of Words. I remember seeing a GIF or GIF file of uh, one amazing animation sequence and <laughs> I gotta find out what it was and it was end up being this movie I saw it and I'm gonna see it again in high definition looking forward to that it's funny because I was gonna comment out about the 5 centimeter one that didn't have a blu-ray release but turns out they do must buy that one Summer Wars some people find it to be like not so great and some people find it to be great I thought it was good pretty good Um, I probably have to see it again to see my different opinions. Ghost in the Shell, of course I have to get this as well because the movie is coming, the live action movie that is. I need to see this once again because this is a classic like Akira. Please don't suck. Wolf Children, yeah I remember this movie, my goodness. Uh, it's been a while. 
But I gotta watch it. I'm gonna definitely watch it again. On high def, surround sound, the best quality I could ask for an anime movie. It's a lot of things to look forward to. I have many more to show, but I will get to that in the next video. And the last thing to show, because I had to make room for this one. Voila, the Jump Ryu Gintama. That's right. This big book. Well, actually, it's not a book, but it's huge. I didn't expect what to get, but this looks pretty damn good. I mean, I've been wanting to get this since i seen it at a bookstore. I got the second last one, and now it's no longer there, so I should be gracious to pick this up. This looks pretty nice, and unfortunately, I did the unboxing already beforehand. And that was with the old camera, which didn't look good. And unfortunately, the audio was gone something happened it's a long story this is the already opened up one so the only thing i can show you is well what happened beforehand so let's go open it i gotta say it looks really nice see you can tell i already opened it but that's how it happens beforehand it looks really staggering to even look at this whole stuff this is like a must-have for people who is a huge fan of the series i mean the way how it folds up it looks pretty damn good i mean there is a booklet there but i have removed it well, i'm gonna show it off very soon but it looks nice you got the dvd right in front and center and then you got the special thing that you will see very very soon yeah, this is actually kind of hard to do the unboxing due to the fact that, well, I'm not showing my face and showing my face actually makes it easier for people. So yeah, that's the case of me right now. This is the booklet that came inside and yeah, here it is. It's Gorilla Sensei. So you got the Blue Exorcist and a table of content, I believe. And you see the desk floor to his studio where he draws his manga. Looks pretty busy, but welcome to the manga world. And look at some of the issues covers from Gintama. It looks pretty nice. I got all the other content in here. I'm not really sure what it says because I need to go back to Japanese class to relearn everything again. Yeah, it looks pretty damn cool. Hey, look, Kingdom. Oh, it's such an amazing series. Terraformers, Tokyo Ghoul, another great stuff. Gantz, Golden Kamui. I gotta talk about that one day. Maybe I should really talk about that. Oh, look at that. The best fight ever or the best fight in the series. Arguably at the very least. But damn, I love this fight. And it's so good to even see it in this book right here. So you can see the entire setup. You can see how it's drawn. You get the color pages. You get the panels. A lot of panels. A lot of description. I believe this is the letter from Sorochi Sensei himself. And it looks something that I really wish I know the language. Hey, you even got the one shot. I thought they were good. I mean, I can't see it to be done in a weekly basis. But they were good for what they were. Kind of wish one of them were serialized to be honest with you. A lot of... Things. I believe this might be the interview and yeah, I could be the interview and I really wish I know Japanese again or more better than now. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of great stuff. It's just a really damn good booklet. The Jump View DVD. Yes, volume 23. I have seen this elsewhere and it was pretty amusing to see how he draws Gintoki. In 23 minutes or I think a little above that, I don't remember how long, I actually sat there. I really wish I could draw, man. I really, really do. It's really great to see how others draw their characters and how they work out. Perhaps I should really go for a region-free DVD Blu-ray soon. And not just for this, but for other things as well. The last thing to show you is what they came inside here. Again, I did the unboxing a while back. Unfortunately, I'm no longer really surprised what I ended up getting. So this is what I end up getting. Yes, it's Gintoki. The one that he draw in the video and now I have in my hand. Not the original, but still. The fact I got this, it looks so damn good. I don't even know what to do with this. Should I frame it? <laughs> I don't really know. And they also come with this one. Another awesome piece. Again, one of the best fight of all time in this series. If not, the best. If you haven't read it, if you haven't watched it, I advise you, please watch this series. Please read this series. And that would do it for today's domain. What is the best pickup that you see? What other manga, anime you have in mind for me to try it out, to collect, or even to take a risk? I will listen to your advice and see if I will pick them up. And I do have a lot of series in mind to what to collect, especially the old series. I would like to see what you think and what you want to suggest me. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.